Hey everybody, welcome back to Instinct Bassin. This is Rob. There are some great deals going on on Garmin Fish Finders currently, so I thought it'd be a good time to revisit what all the numbers and letters and all of that stuff means for Garmin Fish Finders. So stay tuned, that's what we're going to talk about today. I think you'll get some good useful info out of it. Real quick, before we get started, I want to take a minute and tell you to be sure to check out our new partner for 2024, and that is the GPSstore.com. Based out of North Carolina, the GPSstore.com has been around for 25 years, and whether you're looking for the latest fish finder, trolling motor, or other GPS-based product, they simply have some of the best prices anywhere you can find. Throw in free two-day shipping on thousands of items, and there isn't a better place to purchase marine electronics. I'll leave a link in the video description so you can check them out, as it's a great way to support the channel and get a great deal on a new piece of gear. The GPSstore.com. Freedom to explore, discount prices, exceptional service. So the first thing we're going to talk about is what the difference is between UHD and UHD2. So UHD just means ultra high definition. That's just what that stands for. And UHD2 is just the latest version of the UHD models. UHD2 offers higher resolution, wireless networking, improved mapping. It has a better cradle and typically a higher price point, sometimes up to twice as much. Okay, so now let's get into what the actual numbers mean, numbers and letters. So the first number is going to be the screen size. So you'll typically have a 7, 9, 10, or a 12, and all that means is how many inches the screen is uh, diagonally, I believe. So a 73 SB would have a 7 inch screen, as an example. The second number is going to be the maps that the unit comes preloaded with. So it doesn't mean you can't add maps later to get more options, but this is just the number that the unit comes preloaded with. So a two is gonna be the worldwide generic base map. Um, I don't recommend that map unless you're only gonna buy the unit for say live scope or something to that effect, um, because otherwise it's just not gonna have a great map on it. Three is gonna mean that it comes preloaded with lake maps. Four is gonna mean it comes preloaded with coastal maps. A 5 means it comes preloaded with Canadian lake maps, and then a 6 means it comes both with lake and coastal maps, and that is typically going to be on the Ultra units, so the 106 and 126 SV Ultra units would come with that, both lake and coastal maps. You won't find a 96 or a 76, though that, that 6 is going to be reserved only for the bigger units, the 10 and 12 inch units. All right, and now continuing along with what these numbers and letters mean, a CV, if you ever see that, just means clear view. And if you only see the CV on the unit, so for instance, you're shopping and you see a Garmin Echo Map 93 CV, that means the unit does not have side view. It only has clear view, which is the, the downward scanning uh, sonar. So it does not have side view. I don't recommend getting those units anymore just because the side view units don't cost that much more and that's just a technology that most people are going to want on a fish finder nowadays. Um, SV just means side view and that means the unit has side view and clear view. So for example, that 93 SV will have both clear view and side view on it. The clear view and side view is just the same thing as what Humminbird calls down scan and side scan on, on their fish finders. And then if you ever see LVS32 and LVS34, these are the most common live scope options. The LVS34 being the newer technology, um, it's better and it costs more. I won't go into detail on what the difference is, is between those two um, because that's just reserved for a different um, presentation. But the 34 is a higher resolution, better target separ separation, etc. cetera. Um, so it's just a better option nowadays. And now let's go over some common examples of these numbers and letters. So some common combinations that you're going to find while you're out shopping. So for instance, the Garmin Echo Map UHD 93 SV is a very popular unit. Uh, it's currently on sale in a lot of places. Um, it is also discontinued and is being replaced by the UHD 2 version. So if you're looking at getting one of these, I would suggest getting it soon because you may not be able to here in the near future. Um, Echo Map just means that the unit has mapping. So there are still fish finders around that don't have mapping on them. So for instance, the Garmin Striker units, 
Um, those do not have mapping, so make sure you're going to get one that has mapping on it if that's something you're looking for, which I obviously recommend uh, nowadays. The 93 SV portion of that just means that the screen is 9 inches and that it comes preloaded with lake maps. That's what the 3 means. And the unit has side view and clear view technology. Again, keep in mind a 93 CV, if you can even find one of those nowadays, will not have side view technology on it. So you want to make sure you get the SV and not the CV. The Garmin Echomap UHD 106 SV Ultra is another very popular unit right now that is also being discontinued. And so you can find it for a much cheaper price nowadays. Um, it is currently being replaced by the Ultra 2 version. The 106 SV just means that the screen is 10 inches and that it comes preloaded with both lake and coastal maps. That's what the 6 means. And that the unit has both side view and clear view, hence the SV. And continuing along with some more common examples, um, the Garmin Echomap UHD 2 93 SV is just the latest version of the 93 SV. In the UHD 2 means that it comes with higher resolution, better mapping, a better cradle, and then wireless networking over the standard UHD version. The 93SV just means the same thing as it did on the older models. It's a 9 inch screen and has both lake maps and side view technology. Alright, and these are just some other things to consider while you're doing your shopping for these particular fish finders. Keep in mind that Ultra units have an extra network port and an extra SD card slot. That extra network port is very useful for if you're networking units together and it can oftentimes keep you from having to get a or spend more money on the Garmin network expander. The UHD2 and Ultra 2 units have wireless networking so you won't need that expander and you won't need wires to network them together. So that's a benefit of the UHD2 and Ultra 2 units. You typically can't network across families so you can't network a striker to an echo map or an echo map to a GPS map or older non echo map to echo map units. Now you could potentially network them together using the network expander port, but that's a different video and we won't get into that right now. But just for general purposes, you typically can't network across families of fish finders. The newer UHD2 units are comparable to the older Ultra units in terms of resolution and the mounting cradle. So for instance, a 93 SV UHD2 model would be very similar to the 106 SV Ultra model in terms of resolution and its cradle. The Ultra model will still have that bigger screen obviously though. All right, so with all that in mind, um, I thought I'd go over what I think, and this is just my opinion, what I think is the most bang for your buck. Again, this is going to come down to what you ultimately decide and what will work best for your financial situation and where you are on your boat nowadays and that type of thing. Um, but in my mind, the older 106 SV and 126 SV Ultra units that are currently discontinued and heavily marked down are the best way to go. So they provide the um, excellent resolution on par with the new UHD2 units. They have a uh, fast processor just as fast as those units as well. They come with both lake and coastal mapping and they both have those two network ports and two SD card slots that we talked about earlier. They're both obviously also compatible with all the LiveScope versions and the 10 inch and 12 inch screen sizes on these units are are great for your eyes um, and they're they're typically the the 10 inch unit the 106 sv would be the smallest size that i would recommend using as a dedicated live scope system um, you will need to use network cables to network them together but again keep in mind you do have those two network ports on the back and you can often find package deals that include live scope with them for a cheaper price obviously now shop and make sure that the package deal is obviously cheaper than buying it all together otherwise just buy it all to, or uh, buy it separately um, if you're looking for any of those package deals i definitely recommend you check out the gpsstore.com they are our partner for this year and they have some great deals on those fish finders currently well that does it for this one thanks so much for watching remember to hit that like and that subscribe and if you've already bought one of these 93 SV units and you're wondering what are some things that I need to do right off the bat, be sure to check out this video. 
And if you've already got a 106 SV and want to know what I think of that, be sure to check out this video of where I do a review of it after owning it for one year. Thanks so much for being here. Again, remember to hit that like and subscribe. And if you're looking for one of these units, be sure to check out the GPSstore.com for some great deals. Thanks so much. Again, this is Rob with Instinct Bassin. Trust your gut, and I'll see you on the water.